Tottenham transfer target Paolo Dybala has previously rejected Antonio Conte as Spurs reported interest in the Argentine grows. Dybala could leave Juventus ahead of the 2022-2023 season as he is out of contract in June. Dybala has not yet agreed a new deal with the Serie A side and has been linked with a departure. The 28-year-old could sign a pre-contract agreement with a non-Italian club from the start of this month. That would allow him to make a switch at the beginning of July. And Dybala's stance on leaving Juventus has come to light in a huge boost to Spurs and some foreign suitors. According to Tutta Sport, the forward does not want to join another Serie A club out of respect to Juve. The former Palermo man could therefore join Spurs or fellow interested party Barcelona. The La Liga side are wanting to bolster their ranks despite huge debts with former midfielder Xavi Hernandez now at the helm. However, Dybala has previously rejected Conte in a major blow to the 52-year-old's chance of a deal. Conte was head coach of the Italian national team when the Laguna Lager-born star was deciding his international future. Dybala eventually chose the country of his birth, Argentina, and snubbed Italy. I could not play for a country that is not mine. Dybala told Ole in 2014 when he was playing for Palermo. I spoke to my family and I have my entire career ahead, so I prefer to wait for Argentina. Nearly eight years on, Dybala could finally opt to team up with Conti, who has sent a warning to his squad that he wants two players for each position. A potential move would see Dybala either compete or play alongside Harry Kane. I think that especially in this league, because the level is very high and you have to play a lot of games, if you want to have ambition, to be competitive, to fight for something important, you have to have 20 outfield players, Conti said last week. Two players in every role. For sure, as a coach it's very difficult to decide to keep Harry on the bench, but at the same time, when you play the way we played in the last period dash. Six games in 17 days, every coach has to have the possibility to make rotations and don't drop so much the level. Otherwise it's difficult for the coach to make rotations because you want the best. But you have to know that if you want to be competitive, you need a couple of players for every role. Between the player who usually plays, and the other player, the gap has to be not so big in every role. This is a problem for all the teams.